Hey, it's Will. I'm coming on here to talk about community and the ways that I want to let you know about how I show up and offer things that are truly community for people that live here in Austin, Texas. Many of you might be on my list and not know that I have these offerings. And uh, so this year has been really special for me. I've won four film awards for a film out called Protocol 7. I still up, I go out and play my violin on the green belt in Austin, Texas and share my love of history and geology, hydrology and community. That's one of the ways that I really do enjoy sharing community. And many of you may not be aware of these offerings that I have had or that I have aware of these offerings that I have. So this is going to be a long video. But if you don't have much time and you just tuned in, I'm going to have below a list of all the ways, all of the offerings that I have for community and ideas I have for community below. So you can just click down below and see, and maybe one of them will inspire you to want to come out and see me in person. There's so much focus on what is real, what is AI, that People are so suspicious these days. Let's just say a lot of people are so suspicious about what's going on, you know, how big crowd sizes are. And so I think in a lot of ways it comes down to these many communities that we have, right? These many communities where we actually know people face to face. And, and, and that's, that's what it comes down to. Like people that come to my events, they see me, they know me, they see that I am out to, to do good. And that's where we need to start. Um, but, you know me, you know that I'm committed to community in Austin. You've known me for, some of you, for 10, 15, 20 years. You know, so I'm just using that as a point that in a way we're coming back to the world where that one-on-one, -on -one, face to face real connection sitting there right in front of you, that is something that is extremely valuable and meaningful to all of us. Okay, so my rant over and, um, I saw this post where somebody said, a lot of times businesses are using the word community when in fact they really mean customers. And I thought it was a, a great question or a great thing to post because it made me think, am I doing that? You know, it made me question, am I using the word community when I mean customer? Now somebody commented that sometimes there's a crossover. Sometimes people start as customers and they love the, the people that they buy from so much that it begins to feel like a, like a community relationship. So I kind of agree that, that there's a Venn diagram, there's a, a crossover in the two, and you may start as a customer and then you may start feeling more community, depending on that business or that person that you, that you do business with, on how, you, how the interaction goes. But I think that at the heart of community, is a, a an openness for anybody or an accessibility for anybody to have an experience that doesn't require a monetary exchange and at the heart of it is people wanting to spend time and interact with each other without the expectation of any kind of monetary exchange or or, or something that is reciprocal in other words when, I, when you hear, say, a lawyer doing community work, they're going out and doing pro bono. They're not expecting to get anything back, right? They're doing it because they love it, because they want to give back their time and energy. If somebody's uh, uh, giving time to clean up a park, what are they getting back? That feeling of working together with others to create something better that we all can enjoy, right? Um, so... To carry on from that, a lot of you have followed me for many decades. Maybe you are very new to what I do. You know that as a musician, as a community builder, see I use that word, let's say as an event creator, I make a living by people buying tickets to my events. I also make a living by writing music for films. I just won four awards for a feature film called Protocol 7 that comes out or that came out in July and is on yao.tv right now. So there's many ways that I make a living. But 
I love being able to take my skill as a musician, as an event creator, and offering that to people that love what I do. So here are some ways, and I'm just going to go down the list. I have a, a cheat sheet over here on the right because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything. So first of all, I wanted to say that from the beginning, I've always made my events sliding scale. So if anybody, regardless of what financial level they are at, if they are passionate enough that they really want to come to an event that I'm doing, I will say that almost in all cases, I will make that possible. If they reach out and say, I can only afford $5 or, or I'm so broke that coming to this event would really help me, bring me into a new place, would help me. I'm very stressed out in my life. And many times I've said, you're on the guest list, you know? And I think most musicians are like that. They will, they put their friends on the guest list, you know? And that's one of the great things about doing the arts is it's a one to many activity. So uh, if I was, let's say a counselor or a doctor, I wouldn't have endless shelf space to have thousands of, of clients. But when I do a performance or a workshop or an event, a lot of times there's plenty of extra space and so there's plenty of resource to go around and I like to offer that. So just knowing now, you know this, any of my events, if you really want to come to one, you just need to reach out to me. There's always uh, my phone number or email address. Anybody can reach out. Sliding scale. Um, and, and here's another thing I wanted to mention. For years, I've been doing a thing called Strings Attached Cares. And we've actually got uh, the Austin Creative Alliance has been our sponsor. And you can donate money at stringsattachedcares.org, which is tax deductible. I take that money and I pay for musicians to go to schools, memory care centers, retirement centers, and, and play music for people that would really love it but can't afford it and can't get out to, to hear that music. So to take that one step farther and make it feel a little bit like community, what I thought would be fun is, and I've, I've mentioned this before, and very few people have taken me up on it, but I mean, there's over 20,000 people on my email list. I'm sure some of you out there have relatives that are in these care centers. So I'm asking you, reach out to me, email me, text me. I'll put my phone number in there. Would you like me to do a strings attached cares to go visit your loved one in a care center? All you have to do is reach out to me and I'll play solo violin. I'll bring a singer songwriter with me. We can do a special program of classical music. Um, this is the work I've been doing for decades. Um, many of you may not be aware of that. And you can see that at willhelps.com. You wanna see the actual works and videos? Go to willhelps.com, any of the things there at willhelps.com, we can make happen for you. Any of you that have come to my events, Strings in the Woods, Concerts in the Dark, and love what I do, how would you like me to bring what I do to, to your loved ones? So that's one way that we can make more of a connection, a caring connection, just beyond, you know, coming to a show and paying for a ticket. So uh, that's one way I wanted to mention. Uh, it's super easy. And maybe you want to, I mean, if, if it's something that you know would be super special and they're not in a care center, a one-on-one -on -one experience, maybe your loved one, your older uh, elder lives with you in your home. I come to your home, I play some guitar, I sing some Beatles songs, play the violin. It's super special. I have so many stories to tell you about playing music from the 20s and 30s all, all the way up to the 60s and, and making their eyes light up. There are so many stories of the elders, playing for the elders. I love doing it. And if it would mean so much to you, I'm willing to find time in my schedule, even to donate this. I'm willing to come and play. There's nothing more important to me than playing my instrument for people that would, that would help heal and, and, and uplift, okay? So you can also come to my shows and get in free by volunteering. Just helping get a show, helping check people in, helping set up the show, helping set down. It's another way that you'll get to feel community because we'll all be collaborating together to create something really special. And you'll get to meet other volunteers. And uh, it's, it's a real special group. You get to meet new people and create an event that people love. I'm pulling in here to go.
to a bike shop. And I'm going to finish this video before I go in the bike shop for a new helmet. So you can experience my events for free by volunteering. I mentioned playing at uh, elder care centers for your loved ones. Uh, someone reached out to me last week and said, Will, I volunteer at a cancer center. Would you come in? The patients love it to have live music. And I said, absolutely. So this is something I'm, you know, I could, I could use that fund from Strings Attached Cares, but I'm just going to go do it. And um, so another way that I like to create community through what I do as a musician uh, is, is I will do trades or barters. So for instance, maybe I stay in your guest house for a week and in exchange I'm going to write you a piece of music for you and your wife or I'm going to write a piece of music for your wife or your, or your husband to, to that, that is based on their birthday. I've done these things called vignettes where I know I learn about their what they love and I write it into an original piece of music they can enjoy for the rest of their life. In exchange maybe I stay in your home for a month or you know depending on what we agree. I had a local musician here who's an amazing, amazing guitarist, toured with Eric Johnson. He's on the road to fastball right now. We just did a trade where I watched his dogs for three days, and he's gonna play three beautiful guitar solos on an upcoming project. Like, how beautiful is that? No money exchanged, but just uh, bartering. So you come up with something creative, and like, house sit, dog sit. I do a house concert, and we make a trade. Um, and I did this with, with, okay, I'm back. So another way, so I did this for Dave Cher, the pet sitting in exchange for guitar parts. Uh, I could also come do through strings attached cares, a school show for maybe your kids at your high school, junior high or elementary school or preschool even. And you can check out some of the school programs we've done at willhelps.com. Um, so those are some of the things that you may not be aware of that I offer for community through what I do as a musician. Willhelps.com. Make a donation at stringsattachedcares.org. And here's another thing that I was thinking of that kind of made me want to make this video in the first place. Um, I spend a lot of time working alone here in Austin. And I just thought, with thousands of people on my email list, would anybody like to co-work with me? And would anybody like to get together, work at whatever, wherever I'm house sitting, or go to a coffee shop, and share an afternoon of co-working, and get to know each other maybe just a little bit while we work? Have they reach out to me if you'd like to co-work? Out of the thousands of people on my email list, I imagine there's so wonderful people that I would love to get to know here in the Austin community. So here I am showing you that let, let's let's I have time. I have available time to meet, co-work. That's some more community that I have to offer. Um, if you're interested, you could text me at 512-589-8749. And finally maybe you want to host a sound bath or a house concert in your cul-de-sac in your backyard that has a pool we do a floating sound bath or in your living room you bring your friends you bring your neighbors over we create some beautiful music in your house it's a real personal way and all that information about how to do that i put a little guide together it's really short you can find at stringsatyourhome.com. Stringsatyourhome.com. Very short, about five-page guide. You're wondering, like, how do we do that? Host a house concert. So those are some th ways that, that, that I, I offer community. Ways that you can interface with me as a musician, as a creative artist and event organizer here in Austin, Texas. So reach out to me if you want to take advantage of one of those offerings. So those are the ways I build community. If you want to come to a show, I've got a new site that I've just started out. People have been asking me for years, can there be a site with just everything that I do on it? 
Well, guess what that is? It's willtaylor.com. So if you go to willtaylor.com, at the very top is my master calendar that has all my events from strings in the woods, concerts in the dark, sound baths, house concerts, meditation events, uh, retreats, everything's going to be there. Uh, right now, it's to the master calendar is up there, so go check that out if you're wanting to come out to an event. And another thing I've considered doing for community, I really want to do it, really, really, so it's real so dear to my heart, is create some kind of weekly camp or, or, or jam or workshop for musicians of all ages, mainly strings, to learn how to improvise music and write original music in an orchestral setting. So violin, viola, cello, bass, acoustic guitar, percussion, vocalists, something for once a week. It's a way to get together, learn how to do what I do, some of the things that I do that are very specialized, improvising of the violin, how to make a, a piece right on the spot. And my colleague, Tony Rogers, the cellist who has the Austin Cello Choir, uh, he and I are going to start going around to the schools and giving a little taste of what this would look like. Playing our instruments, showing kids that we can make up music on the spot, showing that we can improvise in blues, and rock and roll, and jazz, different styles that maybe they're not exposed to as much in their classical programs. So if you have a school or you have a kid that might be interested in this, if you have a kid or an adult all ages that might be interested in something like this, reach out to me, make a comment below, and like I said below, uh, above before, there should be a list of everything I talked about in this video in the description, all of the community offerings, and you can check out willtaylor.com for all my events that are upcoming. That's the new central location. Thanks for watching the video. I'm going in to buy a helmet to uh, be safe when I'm riding the bicycle. And if anybody out there has a connection to a yoga space or a healing arts space in Austin or in Central Texas, so that could be Marble Falls, San Antonio, San Marcos, Georgetown, the Braunfels, any of those spaces, I am looking to expand my sound healing, sound bath, concerts in the dark offerings to other yoga or healing spaces around Central Texas. So reach out to me about that if you know anybody and you want to help us set up something there. So thanks for listening. I hope to see you out in the real world and let's all find some real world face to face community because that is so meaningful and dear to all of us as humans.